What's going on guys? Uh, back at it today with another video. We're actually gonna do another review. Uh, after I did the shoulder rock review, I actually, I really enjoyed doing that video. So I did a lot of thinking and I think doing reviews is something that I wanna make a staple on the channel. Uh, still gonna vlog, still got some other ideas for some other stuff to do. Uh, but I really enjoyed doing that review and I think that's a great way to kind of give back to you guys. Uh, so that's something I'm gonna try and do on a pretty consistent basis here. And so that's what we're gonna do today. And today I have got these guys. Uh, these are the PRX Performance Barbell Collars. And now you may be asking, how is a flat thing like that a barbell collar? Well, they are basically slap bracelet barbell collars. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm taking you back to the 90s right now with some slap bracelets. Um, I actually saw these uh, in my Instagram feed as an ad probably about a month ago. I kind of laughed, I'm like, that's super gimmicky, I doubt they're going to work, and so I just kept scrolling. Coincidentally, probably about a week or so later, a buddy of mine that I work out with all the time, I was talking about wanting to purchase some, some barbell collars. He's really starting to get up there and wait, and when you're throwing four or five plates on the bar, um, you really don't want those plates to move around a lot. It can throw off your rhythm, and it's just nice to have them secure. And the, the, the collars at the gym just don't cut it in that regard. Uh, so he ended up purchasing the, uh, the Rogue HG 2.0, I believe is what they're called. And so after he told me he purchased those, I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy those PRX Performance ones. And I'll do a review where I kind of pit them against the Rogues and see how they stack up. Uh, Rogue makes great quality products, uh, so at the end of the day, I, if they can even hold up somewhat against the Rogue, they might actually be worth it. Uh, so that's what I decided to do. Uh, we ended up doing a deadlift workout with them. As far as I'm concerned, I think that deadlifts is probably, of the big three, the one movement that puts the most wear and tear on barbell collars. Uh, I think the up and down motion, especially when the weight hits the ground, uh, it just puts a lot of strain on it, um, especially with movement of the plates too. I think you're gonna see the most movement with deadlifts rather than squats or with, with benching. And so I figured that'd be the best way to test these out. So that's what we did. I'm gonna share that footage with you right now and we'll come back, uh, share my thoughts and whether or not I think these things are worth it.
All right, guys, uh, so that was the footage. Uh, as you could probably see, there wasn't really a whole lot of movement uh, side to side with the plates. Um, I noticed maybe just a little bit with these uh, once we got up to four and five plates on the bar, but really the amount of movement between the two was really negligible. So I really, I would say it's a toss up as far as which ones really did the job most effectively. I think they're pretty much on par. Uh, did the job that they needed to do and staying in place and staying secure the whole lift uh, Which was better than I expected these to perform The one place I will give these an edge up was in their ease of use So uh, if any of you have the road collars uh, You know that there's a there's a rubber coating inside that grips the bar and when you're sliding those on to the the sleeve sometimes they get caught a little bit here and there as you're moving it on so you kind of got to go like this and so that can be annoying. Uh, it's the same thing taking the row collars off. They can kind of get stuck as they're coming off. It's not really that much more time consuming, but just kind of more annoying than anything. But with these, I didn't. we didn't really experience much of that. The only downfall to these initially was simply figuring out where to position this on the bar. So obviously you don't want to just go up and slap it like that because then you're going to have to try and lock this up underneath and so what we figured out is you just take it and line it up like this hit it and as this flips around it's going to come up right to the top of the bar and you're going to be good to go and then once we figured that out these were really a breeze to put on and then actually taking these off was the easiest thing that i really ever experienced as far as barbell collars go you literally just grab this this tab and you don't have to do anything other than just grab and pull and it just it just comes right off, which was pretty nice. So obviously that's not a big deal, but it is gonna save you a couple seconds here and there and a little bit of frustration, which is nice. So with that being said, when it comes to a comparison, that's really the only leg up I would give to these per se. Uh, but let's talk about a couple more pros and cons and then I'll just kind of give you my final thoughts. Uh, so one of the other pros uh, I liked about these was just the one piece construction. Um, there is some metal in there, obviously they are magnetic. So there's a piece of a strip of metal that runs through here and then two pieces in each of the ends. But other than that, it's basically just one piece, which is probably why it's so easy to use. Uh, the second thing is that it's super lightweight, super compact. So they don't take up much room in your gym bag, which is really nice. And if you don't have a gym bag, at the end of the day, you can just and carry them like that if you really wanted to. Not much of a fashion statement, but it'll work. The final pro for these, I believe, is the price. Uh, they were $24 shipped. The base price of the Rogues, uh, the HG 2.0, is $40. So almost half the price for something that works pretty much just as effectively. Now for the cons. Um, I really only think there's one con and uh, it's kind of tied to one of the pros in the sense that I think the design is great, um, but the build quality, I just wish was a little bit sturdier. Uh, I feel like this rubber is really thin and maybe that's by design in order to actually get it to snap like it's supposed to. But I could easily see this getting pinched between either the barbell and the weight or between a, you know, a, a weight on the ground or if something falls on it, cuts the rubber and then the rubber just starts to deteriorate from there. Obviously that hasn't happened yet, purely hypothetical, but that's one thing that I could see and that's just, I guess, what I would like to see a little bit better with these was just a little bit sturdier construction. Um, but really and truly that was kind of the only flaw for me. Uh, at the end of the day, they do the job well, uh, the price is great. So as far as my final thoughts on these, I think what it's gonna come down to is if you're in the market for a barbell collar and price is important to you, these are a no brainer. They're almost half the price and they're gonna do the job very, very well. If price isn't of concern to you, then it's just gonna come down to personal preference. Um, if you like Rogue products and you wanna keep buying Rogue stuff, go ahead and buy the Rogue collars because they're gonna be great, they're gonna serve you well, but so are these. And so really and truly, it just comes down to which one you wanna have in your bag. And um, I think that's really it. Uh, so anyways, guys, that's the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any question about these or if you have any question about the, the row collars, any thoughts or maybe ideas for future reviews, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already, and we'll talk to you in the next one.
Peace.